Hello, Dave here with a little tip on how to get Lyrica for free or a reduced price. As we all know, Lyrica is very expensive. Sometimes, with neuropathy, the gabapentin that we are taking does not quite work. But we can't afford to buy the Lyrica. It's too expensive. But I'm here to tell you a little tip on how you can get it for absolutely free or a reduced price from the pharmaceutical. Okay, open up your browser. That's like your Internet Explorer, your Firefox, your Chrome, whatever you're using. And we're going to do a search. You already know how to do a search, so I'm not going to get into that in detail. Type in Lyrica Patient Assistance. Come down to here where it's the PDF file. And I'll have this link down below on the YouTube video. So if you just want to click on the link instead of going through all this. But this is how you get to it. And you just click on that. Oops. I'm in the middle. <clears throat> Have a cold today. Excuse me for that. Huh? Boy, who, who has had a cold in January of 2017? I don't know. It's terrible. Anyway, look for Lyrica right there. It is Put a little check box in there. And and just for the heck of it, um, and yeah, you have you know prescribed. Um, look these over. There might be another one on here that you use. Okay. Hey, might as well see if you can get that for free, right? You're going at it. And you have to answer these little questions. Do you have any prescription coverage? Uh, meet the requirements below, you know, which hopefully you probably do. And this here, that, that's people that are living in your household. This guy is you. You and significant other that lives with you. That you can count each other as tax deductions. These are all tax deduction people, all right? If it's Uncle Bill that comes over once in a while, it doesn't count. Or your girlfriend that comes over. <laughs> anyway, get your little pencil out. We're going to gather some documents all together here. Just go through here and make sure you have all of your things. For instance, photocopy of one of the following documents that show total annual income. Me, I'm on Social Security Disability, so I just send in the Social Security uh, statement that you can get off a of line. You can just go to that and print it off right there uh, conveniently. Or uh, previous tax form. And you check this for Lyrica. Yeah, you gotta send in a copy of your driver's license or your military ID. If you live in New York, you must mail in your Lyrica prescription. That's crazy. Guess what? If you live anywhere in the United States, you have to. So, or facts. I mean, that I don't know why they put that. That is really stupid. Unless right here it says unable to accept Lyrica prescription there. Uh, yeah, that are faxed. You could do it, but not maybe to New York. Okay, correct myself. And make a photocopy of the enrollment, you know. This is where it mails to. I, I fax it right there. I fax it. Oops, it turned all purple. I faxed it. Matter of fact, I had the doctor fax it. Have them do it. You come down here. Yep. All you do is you fill out. You've done this before. If you've filled out crap before, your name, your address, and all this stuff here. Make sure you fill out everything. And, you know, please check one of the box that best describes your coverage type and put that in. I sent them in a copy of my, um, my Medicare, okay, and my other insurance I have. Just for the heck of it, sign it right there. I put the date. Now, I got a complaint. <clears throat> okay. Make sure the doctor that fills this out does it correctly. 
Oh, I don't want to go there. Um, you put the prescriber. Who's prescribing it? The doctor. That's where I put the name, the DEA number. Make sure that's in there. State license number has to be in there. And the address, all that, right, right? Prescriber's email address, that has to be in there. If it's not, it's going to bounce back to you to be corrected. All right? Patient's name. Fill that in yourself. Put your John Jones Smith deal there and today's date, your address, 123 North of the Highway Street, you know. And, you know, they'll do this, hopefully. I put little red marks next to them with my Sharpie. So I make sure my prescriber doctor sees that. Um, drug allergies. Do you? Yes or no? Let, put the list there. If you can, if you got it on a, a spreadsheet or something, print that out, send that with it. Okay? You come down here, and he won't read all this, or she won't read all this. But anyway, the doctor signs this and puts the date. Okay. It says, I request and authorize my doctor, Dr. Smith, to give Pfizer da 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 da. Right? If you put that in there, I know that I can cancel, revoke an authorization anytime by writing to my doctor at. I guess that's his address. And. Well, I guess that is the bottom. So it says patient or responsible representative of the patient. Sign, date, parent your name. All right. I can't stress to you enough because this this is really ticks me off. Um, I take these forms to a doctor. They fill all this stuff out, but they leave things open. You know. Um, they don't put their number in. They don't put any of this stuff in. The other thing is written. You just can't write down lyric of strength, 75 milligrams in directions. No, you can't do that. You have to have, they have to have a written prescription on a pad. All right? Make sure they have that. What I do is I, I take all this in, all my stuff, and I give them a little... Paper stapled on top. Do not fax this until I okay it. And it still gets screwed up. Oh my goodness. You know, I've done that and they, they oh gee, we didn't get the the uh the script. So yeah, it's a pain in the rear end, but let me tell you, I get it for free. I get it for free. Get them right here. Jim? Well, that's my little bottle. Because I had to call them today. But you will have that sent to you. And then you have to fill this out. Boy, I don't remember. Every six months or every year, I don't remember now. But you, you got to go through this. Do it on time. Get ahead of the game. Because if your doctor screws up and doesn't fill the, the, his part right, he didn't fill it out correctly, guess what? You're behind. If it is faxed to Pfizer today, you have four to six weeks before you may even see the Lyrica, okay? So if the doctor messes up, that puts you way out, doesn't it? Yeah, now you got to go to the doctor and say, hey, yo, can I get free samples? You can. They'll give you crap, but they can get, they can get you free samples. So anyway, fill that out, and the link will be down below um, to get this. And you can do this with any medication. I don't care what it is. Okay? Type the name of the medication. Let me back this up. Type the medication right here. Okay, whatever it is, type it in right there. Hit your search key, and it will take you to a place where you can get that medication for free. I, I have to use SimbaCort. It's an inhaler. Dude, that's expensive. So all you got to do is type in SimbaCort, patient assistance, does the same thing, fill it out, take it to the doctor, it's the same routine. I feel your pain on how much this stuff costs. I really do.
So get this filled out. Give it to your doctor. Make sure they do it right. Look it over before it's faxed. Stress to them to get that, that prescription slip in there with it. Okay? Good luck. And if you have any issues or questions or problems or whatever, drop me a question here on YouTube, and I'll try to get back to you. Have a great day.